additive and subtractive colors in Illustrator itself. So basically this is what you would see. And if I have my color um, wheel here, um, and I'm gonna have a fill, the color chip is gonna be, um, uh, for the stroke, it's gonna be set to none. And then I can go in here and go into the fill and I will go into RGB and I will raise the value of red to 255. So I have this 255. So basically this is 100% pure red. You go from zero to 255, because that's based on the, um, the number of the computer. So um, it's always been this range of zero to uh, 255 that you choose. And then if I take this circle and I'm gonna create another one here, and now I'm gonna take RGB down to zero and raise my green up to 255. So now I have a pure green and then I'm gonna take this circle down here and I'm gonna raise the blue up to um, 255. So I have my red, green, and blue. What you can do in Illustrator, and you can do this in Photoshop too, but there's a concept called blend modes. And you can find your blend modes in the transparency palette. So if I go to window, I go to transparency, I have what's called my transparency, transparency palette. So you can create transparency. You can uh, reduce the opacity of these circles, but you also have something called blend modes. And what blend modes do is they basically perform a type of calculation on the pixels and they combine pixels together. So if I have RGB here and I go into this blend mode menu here in the transparency palette, if I pick um, screen, basically that's gonna show me how these colors combine to get that white. So screen is basically um, um, taking your colors and combining like screen, lighten, and color dodge, these three. Basically what they're doing is they're um, uh, ignoring anything that is, um, the lighter pixels and it's adding the uh, darker uh, pixels together. And the, the three up here, dark and multiply is basically ignoring your lighter pixels. And um, uh, actually a light and screen color dodge are combining your lighter pixels and dark and multiply and color burn is ignoring your lighter pixels and combining your darker pixels. But for here, this is actually the whole point of me using screen here is to actually show you how the three combine to form um, white. So hey, that's Joe? Yeah? How did you get that menu? You go into um, window, you go into transparency, and you mm -hmm. menu up here, you can pick screen. Okay. Yeah, so that's where it's found. Um, you can, um, so that's showing you additive color. It's showing you RGB color and how those colors combine to get your additive colors. So um, usually I would just label this um, RGB. So RGB and this is uh, additive. And I'll just give it a nicer font. That's my additive color. Um, now, if I go into um, file color mode, you can see it's set to RGB. If I change that color mode to CMYK, what happens is, see how the colors fade? See how I actually lose um, quality there? So that's the difference that you're starting to see in that color gamut. So if I was working in, um, CMYK, my colors would be less vibrant. They're not gonna be as vibrant looking. Um, so that's CMYK. Um, since I'm already in CMYK mode, what I can show you is how cyan, magenta, and yellow um, form black. So what I can do with this now is I can change my color picker and I can go into CMYK. And now I'll create my circles again and this time I'll create a cyan. So I'll raise the cyan value up to 100%. And 
and then I will um, duplicate this and then lower that cyan and raise my magenta up to 100. Um, duplicate that and then lower that and then raise my yellow up to 100. Now this time when I combine them, I'm not going to use screen, but I'm going to use um, darken or multiply. So darken and multiply ignores the lighter and it um, adds together the darker. So I pick darken. Um, now I get that black in the middle and that is um, um, additive. You can also use uh, multiply to see that as well. Um, so now it's adding uh, darker pixels together to get that darker color. So I, I in the term, but the term is for this is actually subtractive. So um, CMYK is subtractive. In a way, it's um, um, every time you combine those colors, those inks, it's basically um, reflecting less light back to you. So that's why um, it's subtractive. A way to think about it is that. Um, Black absorbs um, energy and white reflects it back, right? So like a white reflective surface reflects white light back at you and a black surface um, absorbs it more. Um, like a way to think about it, like scientifically is like um, a glacier. Um, the glacier is white, it reflects the light back. Um, but if the glacier melts, and the ground appears, it'll melt faster because the ground will start to absorb more of the energy and it will melt the glacier. That's why like global warming things melt fast. But um, anyways, that's showing you um, subtractive. So those are your colors here that you can work with in 